And yes, you absolute legend, I am Full with Frizz, I am Pete, I am back, and today I'm doing my full review of a new release from Hugo Boss. It's Hugo Boss Reflective Edition. Now, when I first smelled this, I thought, okay, it's a nice, slightly woody, aromatic fragrance. I've since tried this, and I'm going to tell you all about it. So... To me, it works really nicely in pretty much every season. It could be a very easy signature scent for a lot of guys out there. It's not expensive. It's about £35 for a 75ml bottle. So I don't think for a new release, that's extortionate. So presentation-wise, it's the same usual canister with a screw cap, but atomizer's nice. So... On the top, there is a lot of citruses. Now, I think there's some bergamot and some, maybe a little, slight bit of orange, a little bit of lemon in there. But it's just those citruses, but I'm thinking those are the three ones that come out the top of this. And then in the mid, some nice cypress. Not too aggressive, very nice. Just gently pushing things through. And in the base, there is some beautiful vetiver, which works perfectly with these. To me, I think, like I say, this could be a signature scent. It works in pretty much every situation. The only time I probably wouldn't wear this, go and get the cap on, rubbish. Um, the only time I wouldn't use this, it's probably for a date night. I think it's a bit boring. I think there's better fragrances out there. But for an office fragrance, for going out, general doing things, I can't see why you cannot use this. There is easily a use for most fragrances now for me it gets a good hour of projection which i thought was actually quite good um i was if you wanted more you could put layer it with some isoe or some ambroxin and it would give it a little longer it gave me six to seven hours which again for a designer fragrance i thought was decent overall i think it's a good solid release i give it a seven and a half out of ten because there's nothing new but it just works, if that makes sense. It's just one of those phrases that just simply works and it's a great little number. Um, this is going to be, like I say, you can use it all year round, which is great. Uh, I think in the fall and winter, I think it might even shine a bit better with the citruses up top, projecting it more with the cool air. I think that will work. And then the woody mist underneath will just hold its own. Not a problem. Like I say, this is, it was on a warm day, so it could get a bit longer in the cooler days. So you could get seven, maybe eight hours out of this. So that's not bad at all for a designer fragrance. So overall, like I say, it's a great for a little number. So Hugo Boss Reflective Edition, I think it's a nice little pickup for anyone. If you wanted an easy fragrance to use, this is it. If you don't want to think about what you're wearing, wear this. Honestly, it'll be one of my dumb rich fragrances that I'll go to time and time again when I just don't even want to think about what I'm doing. I'm just going to pick it up, grab it, go. It works perfectly for that. So like I say, Hugo Boss Reflective Edition. It's not a bad little pickup. Nice little dumb rich fragrance. So there you go. Right, so there you have it. Hugo Boss Reflective Edition. A great little pickup. Easy to wear, great little number, my scent of the day, and I went for a cheapie today because I was just lit I was literally running today uh, like an absolute madman, and as you do, I put original blend, no signature blend from me from original penguin. This one's a great little nuance. Got a massive what was it, 125 ml bottle? Yeah, 125 ml bottle. This one. It's just quite a fresh, easy to wear fragrance. Under 20 quid. For a massive bottle, again, it's a cheapy little gem. Can't go wrong with this. Easy to wear. I got me four or five hours. I was happy with that. I can reapply. Not a problem with the mat size I've got. Doesn't matter. So let me know in the comments what your scent of the day and as if you've used uh, Hugo Boss Reflective Edition yet. As always, I'm on Instagram with my fragrances. Um, if you want a top 10 list, a fragrance review, question, Please hit me up. I do try and talk to as many of you get absolute legends as I can. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Um, I'm trying to keep doing new things and changing things up. Um, so if you want something slightly different or like you say, you want some content that you want me to cover, please do. I've done a fair few of them now for days and that's cool. And as always, you absolute legends smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.